Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies and Man once again, and today we're going to be doing another comic book review. Today we're going to be looking at Gemini, which is a superhero comic book, um, the complete series. It's only a one volume situation here. Um, the authors are Jay Firber and uh, John, sorry, John Soma Riva. Um, uh, I think both of them worked on the story, but then John did the artwork, so... Yeah, the publisher's image, as you guys can see right there. Uh, let me see, can you guys see it? Oh, whatever. I promise it says image, so there you go. Um, and the demographic, as far as I can tell, is teen. That's what it says back here. And the uh, genre is superhero. I guess there's some elements of like thriller in some cases, um, some sort of psychological elements there here are here as well. But now um, I wouldn't really say that they're really all that important. I mean, in five issues, you can't really. Uh, do too much with that kind of stuff so yeah the series obviously has no adaptation it's quite short to begin with and also image just doesn't really get adaptations for many of their things honestly and uh, the premise is that gemini is a superhero character um, but he's also this guy called dan and the reality is that neither dan nor gemini know of the other side of their personality and it's a really interesting concept because they have these handlers um, that make sure to maintain this distinct separation. And the issue comes from one of these handlers actually kind of falling in love with him in some way and wanting to get rid of that distinction in order to uh, provide him what they think is a better life. And so there's a conflict here. So um, it's pretty interesting. And actually kind of reminds me of that Bourne movie. Uh, I can't remember which one it is with uh, Jeremy Renner when it's not uh, Matt Damon anymore because in that one he kind of has like you know there's a there's a reason why things are happening the way they are he doesn't understand what those reasons are and then a woman that knows comes up to him and explains it to him and then helps him you know finish out what he has to do and uh, that feels feels very similar here in Gemini so it's pretty interesting in that sense um in terms of a plot line, we get introduced to the to the hero character and the handlers, and we get a new handler coming in to do the job so that we can have an everyman character so that everything can be explained to her so that everyone here uh, that is reading it can learn about it as well in an organic fashion, right? Um, then he battles, and we meet his friend Luna, who is this very uh, hot-like female superhero, uh, which is this one right here. And uh, then there's this big issue that happens. There's this loss of control and then a lot of infighting. Uh, then this uh, woman shows up, Reagan, and she explains all of the issues that he's having and why they're happening and stuff like that. And some more battles and personal tensions and eventually leading into this uh, uh, climactic um, situation that then explains and resolu uh, resolves all of the issues at the end of the story and i know that's super vague but i don't really want to spoil too much um beyond the very basic uh, you know idea of how the story is structured so yeah the ending was kind of mild it feels like they didn't get to finish and i'm not sure why but um it feels like they didn't get to finish their story and so that's why the ending feels so quick because apparently they uh worked on the first four didn't manage to get the release for the fifth one and then they just collected it into a complete story uh, in this one volume and it kind of sucks I really would have seen this going for a lot longer if they really wanted to it could have happened over two volumes you know 12 issues um, but maybe it's better that it stayed at the five that it ended up being I don't know I, I really don't have a preference um, but the ending was kind of disappointing and feels very similar to when you read a Shonen Jump title and they ax it and so the author just has to wrap up everything really fast and sometimes actually most times it's just kind of unsatisfactory so it's kind of that same vibe in terms of characters, we have Gemini slash Dan, we have uh, Luna, and we have this other hero called Andromeda, which is this uh, Valkyrie looking character right there. And then Reagan and this uh, big bad that's called The Man, I think, or something like that. Uh, he's like the boss of the company that uh, Gemini works under. And it's pretty interesting. I, I like all the characters. I think that there's a few more of them that show up as well that are kind of part of some other situations that happen at, at Image, other, you know, comic books that happen in Image, or it might have been from uh, from IDW, I can't remember, but there's some crossover with some other characters, and uh, it's pretty interesting. I, I quite liked all of the, the stuff that happened with the characters, um, you know, as much as you can get in four issues, five issues, um, but it was good, I quite liked it. Overall, the artwork was actually probably the best part. I really liked it, it was very 
stylized, very cool, but also very actiony, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really cool looking, and uh, I also really like that because this book was so short, they added a bunch of the concept art and explanations as to why and how they got to the to the the character designs that they picked, and I quite like that. I thought it was really cool. And yeah, and uh, in terms of fan service and sexual content, uh, there's very little, but there is some with this Luna character, like I explained. And um, yeah, my rating for this is a four out of five. It's uh, uh, something that I'm happy to read again, but I'm probably not gonna read it anytime soon. It's something that I would have really liked to see continue. And I'll probably look into these uh, writers because I'm pretty interested in seeing what they did elsewhere. So. Yeah, that's all I have to say about Gemini. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know your thought. And thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.